So when you think Chesapeake Bay wildlife, crabs or maybe even fish come to mind, well, one father-son duo had their sights on a much bigger catch. We're talking about that nearly eight-foot alligator captured right near the beach. News 4's Pat Collins caught up with the Maryland dad about a Father's Day adventure he will never forget. Is he there? Seven feet, six inches long with teeth that would make Long John Silver shake. It could be a Chesapeake first, an alligator, an alligator off the shores of the bay near Driftwood Beach. Were you scared? <laughs> a little bit. I, I'm from Maryland, so I'm not used to that, but I knew that it, would, that it shouldn't be there and I needed to get it out of there. Chesapeake Ranch Estates. To the right of those rocks there behind the seagrass, there's a pond, and in that pond, an alligator. There was a sighting back in 2016, then stories about some missing pets, but nothing tangible until last Sunday. Last Sunday, the catch and the kill. On Father's Day, William Adams was out on a kayak with his son. Now they weren't fishing, they were alligator hunting. He used hooks and chicken breast for bait, and when the time was right, he used a crossbow to finish it off. But that size alligator can take a small kid too. Yeah, he's big enough to take a three or four year old. My main deal of taking it out of here is because it doesn't belong here and it's very dangerous. Alligator hunter Adams plans to have the gator skin mounted. As for the meat, that was last night's dinner. What's alligator taste like? Alligator is like, it's like a chicken taste with like a steak texture. Is it good? That's really good. In Calvert County, Pat Collins, News 4. Mr. Adams believes someone had the gator as a pet, and when it got too big, they just let it loose.